Some parents in the Northwest ISD, they went to the school board asking for change after nothing happened when a student wrote about torturing and killing fellow classmates. Fox 4's Natalie Solis was at tonight's board meeting in Justin. She joins us now live. Natalie. Well, Heather, uh, some of you might be wondering why these parents are speaking out now to the board members. We first learned about this book in late March, and then the DA declined to file any charges April 1st. Well, the reason is there hasn't been a real opportunity for them to speak directly to board members in about a month. This was their first opportunity. The kids have not come first in this situation. One kid has come first not all kids. The Northwest ISD school board getting an earful from protective parents who feel their children are in an unsafe learning environment because of one 14 year old. He specifically stated my son's name and then said I've hated him for a long while and I'm so eager to kill him. It's the first opportunity for Jennifer Taylor and other parents to address the board since the last meeting on March 16th, and they had a lot to say about allowing the young author back to Tidwell Middle School, learning next to their children, some of whom were called out by name in his online book called Killing Children, detailing gory school killing scenes and sex acts. I support Jennifer Taylor, and I would appreciate that anyone else that did please stand. When parents learned the teen was allowed back to school, they protested outside campus and pulled their children from class. Some removed their kids from the district. I am not safe at Tidwell anymore. Eighth grader Tatum Bubella was the only student to address the board. I'm fed up with them saying, oh, we're fixing it. Oh, we're trying to do the best we can when they're really not. The Tarrant County District Attorney's Office declined to file charges, finding the book did not meet the requirement for criminal or delinquent conduct. What these parents want from the school board? Concrete changes to the student handbook so this doesn't happen again. We will all be back and we'll be here whenever it's time for elections and we'll make sure that none of them are here if they don't listen. Well, board members did not uh, address any of the speakers after the public comment section. It was announced, though, beforehand that they are not required to do so. Uh, the superintendent did say, though, that their silence does not represent anything other than their attention and respect for these parents' concerns and wishes. Now, I also spoke briefly uh, by phone to the father at the, of the teen at the center of all of this, and he says uh, that they are finished talking about this and decline to comment any further. Heather. All right, Natalie Solis live tonight, thank you.